Hey y'all, welcome back to North American Welding and Fabrication. This is John McDuffie and I'm working on my welding machine today. Now, I run a Lincoln Ranger 330 MPX and it's been a great machine. Uh, keep regular maintenance on it, it'll treat you right. But part of the maintenance schedule is they want you to replace your rotor brushes yeah, it's these little dudes right here. They're about 20 bucks. <clears throat> Every 1,000 hours. Now, I'm going to show you the process to get into those rotor brushes and get to them where you can uh, replace them because I hadn't found anything as far as YouTube videos on how to do it, and I hadn't found anything on Lincoln's website or in the owner's manual, service manual, or any of that on how to mess with this. Actually, I've I take it back. I don't have a service manual. I have an owner's manual. But anyways, what you'll do is you'll take this sheet metal here, a loose from the back. And it's got several screws, and they're all pretty well easy to find. There's no sense in showing you every little old screw. But I took that plate off. It don't look like you need to. Anyways, it's just four screws that holds it. But then you'll have this cooling fan with this 14 inch long bolt and that bolt goes in that hole right there and then your cooling fan is right here directly in the way of these two bolts now them two bolts are holding the rotor brushes they go in there just like so so what you do at this point is you unplug that wire and you unplug that wire then you take them two bolts out take the rotor brushes out put your new rotor brush assembly in put your bolts back in plug your wires back up basically reverse process on how you got here once all that's done then you can clear it out in the uh, computer part of the machine that tells you to uh, change your rotor brushes and yeah, you perform service. 